Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. In this video, we will be seeing the frauds which happen in the maritime industry while seafarers newly joined this industry. We have seen a lot of newbies who have come to us seeking assistance where they have been duped by some of the agents while they have started their careers. Today, we will be seeing five aspects of this fraud which happens and we will see why it happens, how it happens, when it happens so that all are aware of these miscreants and how you can be saved from this. Let's go into the video. Lack of correct source of knowledge. People get knowledge from their friends, relatives or some business development people who come to their college to get the information. Now you have a biggest source of information which is the internet and for the shipping industry all the information available is present in the website called dgshipping.gov.in this is the government website for all the shipping related activities there you will see all the agencies who are registered to recruit seafarers all the training institutes who are registered to conduct the training so that's it these are the two lists you need anybody approaching you out of this list can be considered genuine but otherwise they are not genuine Okay, so you have to have correct information who are already sailing on the ships or you approach big companies who can actually give you the correct information. Okay, so do not, I repeat, do not take any unsolicited information from your friends, relatives or you know unknown people who say and promise big things. Looking for quick rich scheme. Merchant Navy, as you all know, may be paying good salaries, but it doesn't mean it's a quick rich scheme or you know a lottery lottery for uh, new seafarer or something like that. There is a lot of hard work which needs to go in. There is so much studies which go in. You have to do a lot of courses. Every time you come ashore from sea, you have to do courses. So it is not an easy a career for people who feel from the outside that much in navy you can earn a lot of money without much hassle which is not correct okay so it is a hard career and you it is not a quick risk scheme where you join the ship and you start earning lakhs and lakhs of rupees glamour of much in navy this is again a big attractiveness for the merchant navy where you see your friends and your colleagues spend a lot of money or they have built up a big flat or a house near you and see uh, and you also feel that if I go to much in Navy, I can also earn. Yes, that is true. Again, as I told you in the last point, it is not easy that the next day you join and you start getting lakhs and lakhs of rupees. Okay, so you have to go through a lot of exams. You have to become senior. You have to get an experience. Freshers don't get much high salaries in the much in Navy. So you have to be ready to put in at least 8 to 10 years so that you can start earning a good handsome salary for you. Lack of qualification. This is another reason, you know, people do know about Merchant Navy. They also know what is the minimum entry criteria, but they try to beat the system. And some agents tell ki, yes, we can help you beat the system and I'll put you in Merchant Navy through alternate routes. Okay, there are no many alternate routes or, or none of the alternate routes available because everything is very, very tightly regulated by the DG shipping, which I mentioned the website of them in the earlier point. Okay, so please don't think, please don't think that you will be able to take a shortcut and join the Merchant Navy and you will be able to earn good money and uh, beat the system also, which is not possible. So please try to find out genuine ways. There are ways for everybody who can join Merchant Navy, who want to join Merchant Navy. Some, some routes are longer, some routes are shorter. So please ensure you take the correct route and do not try to shortcut and beat the system. So that will be your loss and the agents, the scrupulous, unscrupulous agents use this requirement of yours to take shortcut and make money from you okay so be careful on that lack of shore opportunities this is again a point you know where people don't have alternate options they do know merchant navy is there it is very difficult to get in and once you get in getting a job is a challenge for some time till you become and gain some experience but still people want to try it because the shore opportunities are not there if you have not done a decent enough college or education you don't have so people feel this is the easy way you just finish 10th standard or 12th standard and you can join merchant navy and you start earning okay so as i mentioned earlier it is not a quick rich scheme 
and you have to take in a lot of experience, studies, hard work to get to where a merchant navy officer or crew can actually earn a decent living. Okay, even though you feel there is not much of opportunity ashore, it doesn't mean that it is a very easy cakewalk in merchant navy. It is both tough on these both the sides. I tell that. Uh, now the patch on the other side is always greener. That is what is happening. Okay, people feel if you go to much navy, it is very easy money, but it is equal hard work here as well. Okay, so it is a good career. Yeah, I am not here to discourage anybody joining much navy. My only concern here is using wrong means, shortcut means to get into the much navy and to give you a correct picture of what is in store for you while you join much navy. When does the fraud happen? Looking for a PC institute, this is the first place where any to be seafarer tries to enter into Merchant Navy. So, they, they some of the agents or some they see some news clipping in some of the news magazines or newspaper, then they call up, then they are given interview call, they are given uh, written exams to make it you know look very authentic. Then people go to the entrance exam, give exams, and they are told you are selected, you are. You need to do the pre C course and then you will join the ship, etc. etc. And people who are very gullible and they don't understand what is happening, they feel that yeah, this is genuine and they pay a lot of money to do the course which is not registered, which is not approved by the Director General of Shipping. So, as I mentioned, dgshipping.gov.in is the website you need to go. Any college, any interview call you get, you check that institute is listed in the DG Shipping website and training institutes and then only you need to do the training, PC training course. There is a new role where you can get CDC that is continuous discharge certificate or some it is called also called the it's it's basically like an ID card for the seafarer without doing the pre-C. Earlier it was that you need to do the pre-C for to get your ID card but presently it is also possible that you can do the uh, pre-C later and you can get the ID before. However, I strongly suggest you do the pre-C, it is, it is uh, 4 months, 6 months or 1 year based on what rank you want to join Merchant Navy in. So, I, I strongly suggest you do the pre-C because it gives you overall of what is Merchant Navy and it is not a, a cruel sh shock when you actually join the first ship. You already are aware of what, will, what, uh, what you can expect from the ship. Okay, to get this CDC or the Seaman Identity Booklet immediately without doing the pre-C, you, you just need to do some few courses, basic courses that is 10 to 15 days courses and then you will get the CDC. But I strongly suggest you do the full pre-C and then join the merchant navy. Okay, in this case, please ensure you correct, you select the correct pre-C institute, for example, T.S. Rayman, Great Eastern Institute, these are the two major big institutes, you have a NUSI Institute in Goa. These are the institutes which are recognized by Government of India, the DG Shipping, and you can do the PC courses here. This is for the ratings I am telling because ratings are more prone to such frauds. Okay, so please ensure you always choose the correct PC institute. Check there is there is dearth of information in the Google, you know, internet you have a lot of information. So you can always you can always get proper information before joining the PC Institute. So do your part of research okay, before joining any PC Institute. Looking for directly joining a ship. Okay. As I told you, it is possible to directly join a ship and uh, this is where the fraud happens where they tell K I will put you on the ship without doing any pre-C, I will get you the CDC and I will place you on board, but this is all money making like it. Okay? It is it is bigger challenge to get a ship without pre-C than doing after doing pre-C. So if you if they are going to really put you just 10 days, 15 days, you get a CDC. Now you wanted to start your merchant navy, then you came to an agent, he told okay from next to week you have a 10 days, 15 days courses and you do that courses and uh, next month I will put you on the ship, you feel this is a dream come true, you you just uh, wanted to enter the merchant navy and in one month you are on ship, this is only a dream which will not come true. Okay, So please ensure do a proper PC from a proper institute, it will take a longer time, you know, it, it is it is, it, it is not uh, getting seamen card and then joining on the ship, it will take some time but it is worth it. Okay, so please do the pre-C first, 
get the proper knowledge, do the PC through a proper institute, and then start looking for a job. Joining the ship for the first time, after the PC, there are some institutes which do not guarantee any job. Okay, so it is possible that you have done. Even though the institute is genuine, you have got a proper certificate, you have got a proper CDC, but still, all the institutes are are not able to place you on the ships. Okay, so you have a possibility that you have done the PC from an institute which is not able to place you, and you are joining for the first time. Then again, in that case, again agents will approach you, or you will approach some agents through your friends or relatives that you know you pay money to this person and he will put you on board. These are the places where the frauds happen, so you have to be very very careful. This is the interface where you have to be ultra vigilant of whom you are talking to, what he is saying, when is he going to put you on the ship. You have to check all the details. You know, you have to. There is no limit to your vigilance in at this point when joining the first ship. That is the very very crucial part. It will decide. It will break or make your career. Okay, which way you are going to go? So it is very very important. So please ensure before talking to any agent or anybody. I know it is very difficult to get a job without an agent because none of the big companies take very very uh, often seafarers, freshers from outside. They have their own tie-ups and they have their own institutes. So getting taking outside seamen is a big challenge. However. There are possibilities. Big, uh, the big companies also keep exams for cadets, engineer, engineers, etc. For the ratings also. So through that you can go, even though the numbers are not very huge. So I always suggest don't go through the agents. However, if you have forced to go through the agents, do your due diligence because this is a place which is very very critical. Joining a ship without experience. Again, there are some companies, big companies. Who, for whom the your criteria, experience criteria, is not suitable. However, some agent comes and tells you, that it's okay. I can put you on the big company and a bigger rank. You pay me some money, and I will put you there. I have contacts in the company. Okay, this is again mostly very very untrue. Okay, it is not that big companies will take anybody without experience because there are so many screening processes. Okay, so this is a place where again frauds can happen. So you have to be very very careful. Anything which 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 seems to be too good to be true, you have to doubt it. In Merchant Navy, where you have to pay money, people are asking money for putting you on the ship, putting you in a good rank, putting you in a big big company, which seems to be true and it seems to be so easy. That means there is some catch in it. Okay, so be very careful there. So I have taken some time here in these two points. So let us stop this video here. I will continue in the next part where we will be. looking at you know how do you detect fraud how how you actually you can see what are the signs tell ten signs of fraud etc we will see in the next video okay thank you so much for watching this video till now keep on watching and subscribe to the channel where i can i will be putting more and more videos and also watch the videos on the maritimeplatform.com where we have many such informational videos for you Thank you so much. Take care. Be safe. Jai Hind.